Welcome to the Per Jacobson uh, lecture. If you ask me, uh, why am I concerned? And I am concerned because of the fact that, uh, well, we are all reading newspapers, but not because of what happened yesterday, but because of the trend. There is a trend now of anti-markets, of anti-trade, of anti-financial sector, of anti-banks, of anti-globalization, of uh, anti-neoliberalism led by an important institution, which is a paradox, and, uh, and of course a trend of populism. And I think this is an important issue. And this is issue not for central banks. That's an issue for the economics profession. As an economic profession, uh, I think we failed dramatically in explaining the alphabet, explaining the importance of the financial sector in an economy, explaining the importance of the gains from trade and all the rest. But we also need to remember one important thing. In the early article of Samuelson in the early 40s about the gains from trade, he was sufficiently careful to say, we are talking about potential gains from trade. If you trade, then there is potential gains so that both sides can have more. But you need to distribute the benefits in a way to secure that everyone is benefiting. Otherwise, you cannot make the statement that there is unquestionable gains from trade. And therefore, fiscal policy, distribution, trade assistance is an, is an integral part of trade policy and of uh, the markets. 